Hey, people injured here, 3v3, Leonida, Heathlands. For the red, in the center, the southwest, we have Ra with the dwarves alongside them either side. Green player here is Farlon with the orcs. And the white player here is Pump with the humans. For the other team, yellow player is Matasaburo. See, he's got a Reaper up here with the Dark Elves. The teal player is ZZ with some Elves. And the orange player is... More humans. It's the Royal Mage here. So humans versus humans in the Northwest. A 3v3. I am excited. Can I make sense of anything that's going on? The UI, unfortunately, isn't great for keeping track of a 3v3 game in kind of some kind of meta overview fashion but we'll do what we can first of all let's find out what the other heroes are shall we ra probably be easier for me to go through here ra's got a warrior of the depths awesome like a support melee guy has to hit stuff or be hit to get his focus back and also use this thing inspiring presence as, as he just did there got his sweeping strike aoe damage and the head splitter I want to see some some complete. of this, We've some stalwart song. That big shield in a 3v3 could be very fun. Pump has got the Wolf Guard Commander. They've gone for the Shadow Strike, the teleporting thing, and Whirlwind, AoE damage. Santa Maria with the Royal Mage, as we saw, has got Hailstorm, Biting Frost to get a chunk of damage from the shield of Hailstorm, and Spark. Matasaburo, the Reaper, as we the saw, ZZ with the Ranger, and Farlon with an Oculist with, wow, tons of active abilities. They didn't get any passives up. So they've got Lacerate, single target damage with a bleed. They've got Nullify, which is like a pull and a disable, very powerful. Blood Confluence, which is a heal off a of bleed. Blood Sacrifice is an AoE bleed, and of course the Demonic Pact. Where is he though? Where is that attack. Oculist? Note that it's Oculus, not a cultist, as someone pointed out in a previous game. Not sure what an Oculus is meant to be. He's bashing up this outpost here, which is kind of between the southeast bases. Oculus with, with one C is like someone who deals with your eyes, I think. But I don't know what an Oculus with two Cs is. Maybe it's something in the lore that I'm not aware of. That you find out in the single player campaigns or something. So the central players, Ra and Matasaburo... They're kind of squeezed in a bit, and you see them pouring into the center here to try and get some territory. There's lots of iron in the center, but when it comes to the rare tier 3 resources, I think they're all kind of wedged in between the players around the edges, so they should have relatively safe access to them. Although, the two players on the edges, Pump and Santa Maria and Farlon and ZZ, are going to have some scraps, I assume. There are creeps inside your base when you spawn. I assume they've all been dealt with. The Oculist going after Matasaburo's early flag here. And they get it. Reaper's not happy. Tries to put it right back up again. But he's undead scurrying around already. Got some wyverns in the mid. And these guys can be dangerous. Look at that. 9,000 hit points on that Scorching Wyvern. And we have a big old Inferno Golem waiting for some, for some fights too. Mori of the Depths of Ra being harassed by the mage was trying to go after the scorching wyvern I think oh that was an axe wielder going down looking forward to see an army of axe wielders and an army of goblins fighting side by side did you level up yet Ra? really annoying that I can't I guess if I knew I think they have oh they're still level 2 they're, they're near level 3 though hopefully they get that stalwart song because that could be cool in a team game scenario that could be cool what is this I'm trying to look for the the red markers of battle looks like the dire bear is being taken out by ZZ's ranger and some guardians. Still action in the mid. Look at this. Did Ra pull two wyverns over here? Looks like Farlon's Oculus is going to help out. There's the demonic pact. No, it's not. That was blood sacrifice or blood ritual, whatever it's called. There's the demonic pact for massive damage output. But if he leaves this area, takes a bunch of damage. The Oculus is all about sacrificing health to get things done. Did Ra get the passive for focus on hit? 
just used the active ability again. Let's see. No, they didn't. It's over here. Precision. They've gone for just more focus and cooldown reduction at the moment. But plenty of time to get more stuff. Did he just teleport out? They might have just used the godstone. Can you use your allies' godstones? I imagine you can. It would be pretty crummy if you couldn't. What is this? This is the Dark Elves going after this Dire Bear. Looks like Infiltrators are starting to hit the field. The Reaper himself is in there. The Royal Mage just killed something over there, I think. Still kicking off in the mid. This Wyvern is still here. In fact, both of them are still here. Stone Hall going up on the front lines. Do we see anything from the Dark Elves? We do. But uh, not their military building. Not yet, anyway. Here's the ranger, his ZZ. Looks like they're gonna 2v1 against the Wyvern and try and get this done. Guardians going into their range stance, pulling their bows out, and we've got the infiltrators too. They should be able to get it done, there's a lot of range, range damage going in. Can you knock back the Wyvern with your bullseye? Just use the Hail of Arrows there. Maybe you can't. Lots of debuffs from the Reaper potentially. I wonder if they've got that stuff going. Let's have a look here. We're being attacked. If we can. Santa Maria. Yep, yeah, they've got the corruption. So they can weaken stuff, mess up its resistances. They've got a level in there too. What about War Reservoir? No sign of that stalwart song. Oculist. Very nearly going down there. Maybe they did go down actually and got revived or something. Not sure how much health you have when you get revived. Give me to a free spectate, please. Oculus is very slowly healing up. I guess they don't have a health potion to pop, eh? ZZ and Matasaburo, the elves, are going for it. Stone Hall is going to get taken down pretty damn quick. Look at that. That is fast. Did not last long. And now an army of goblins from Farlon. Awesome. All got debuffed by the Reaper. The Guardians should be able to turn and engage. No, they teleport out. And they had the Royal Mage coming in. They still teleported out. Goblins going way too close to this Inferno Golem. Just sets them on fire for being close enough, I think. That's kind of nasty. We have a bunch of infantrymen here for Santa Maria and the Royal Mage. What about the White Player? Pump. I don't see any units up for the White Player. Maybe they're hard teching a bit more. Ra and Farlon can hold the line early on, perhaps. Outpost flag going up here from that Oculist. Little army of axe wielders now. It's a really solid unit. 700 hit points, 70 damage, and some decent resistances there. Most units don't have magic resist, in fact. I think all tier 1 units have some kind of magic weakness. That's a percentage, by the way, this stuff. Warrior of the Depths, up to 20, 50 hit points. And we do have the Stalwart Song. Building complete. The shield to nearby allies, and we've got Recuperate as well, just a self-heal. Which is pretty damn handy to have, kicking off in the mid. This is Matasaburo and Santa Maria going after Pump's outpost. It's going to go down. Pump. Looking a little bit depleted already. Here comes Ra. There's the stalwart song. But there's too much stuff here, surely, for them to engage. Where are the goblins? Here they are. Just teleported in with the teleportation stone to that frontier outpost there. Making everything bleed. Not able to quite get in there for a demonic pack though. Just sort of big debuff. Corruption debuff on the goblins. What is this coming in? Just some more guardians coming in from ZZ. Hailstorm won't affect his own units. Can they get this frontier outpost down? It is being repaired. Demonic pact, but the Oculus goes down. Okay, here comes some uh, stuff from Pump. They have some Arbalists and there's infantrymen. So they come a little bit too late though. Goblins backing off a bit. Big presence in the mid from the Dwarf player. 
Ra. Looks like the Warrior of the Depths has taken some damage already. They're going to try and defend this. I assume the Axe Wielders trade quite well with the Infantrymen, I think. They're pretty even, aren't they? The Axe Wielders have a little bit more damage, but otherwise, I think they're exactly the same. I think they, they cost the same as well. They're both six food. Maybe the infantrymen are slightly faster. But when supported by that stalwart song, they should be quite effective in melee early on. There's the horde of zombies for the Reaper. Pretty awesome. There's the Nullify. Drags him in. Really nice tool to have. Pretty much a no-brainer pick, I think, for the Oculus. Really surprised the amount of active abilities he got up, though. And not passives. This is ZZ going after the Stone Hall of Ra and making really short work of it there. Going to teleport away now. Yep, job done. Kicking off in the west. Leveling up the Wolf Guard Commander here. Let's see if we can figure out what they've got. Pump. They haven't got any other actives. They're level 4. I guess they've got a bunch of passives there. Yeah, double concentration and double deep waters for cooldown and focus generation. Our allies are under attack. Allies are under attack. Where are they? Over here, kicking off in the mid. Is that the demonic pact? Yeah, it is. That's a harvester, which means Matasaburo has the spire of souls up somewhere. I certainly ain't gonna have time to look for it, but it's somewhere up in the northeast there. Can they get the warrior of the depths? So what song must have been used. Here comes the occult, the Oculist. I almost called him an occultist again. Guardian switching to ranged stance. Well played by ZZ. He just did a AOE bleed and then a leech, I think. Okay, they survived it. Meanwhile, what is this now? Wolf God Commanders is human on human action. Wolf God versus that Royal Mage. Really powerful ability, this Hailstorm, to slow stuff down like that. Can facilitate an escape really well. All of a sudden, Pump has a ton of stuff here. Good amount of Arbalists and Infantrymen. We can figure out compositions. Maybe. If I hit this, we have 11 Axe Wielders for Ra. Pump, 13 Arbalists, 16 Infantrymen. That's a really chunky army. Santa Maria has 6 and 8 for comparison. Matasaburo, big army here, 10 infiltrators, got that one harvester, 8 tarantulas and some undead. And those undead are basically free movement, but ZZ with 17 guardians, just riding the guardians into wanderers and wardens, I guess. And Farlon with 13 goblins. Oh, he's got 5 hunters up already. He's so went slightly lighter on the goblins but he's straight into hunters pretty fast and hunters are awesome 140 damage per attack i believe on those guys there they are 140 piercing yeah a lot of melee units do have piercing resistance but it's still a hell of a lot and they can burst down help you burst down a hero quite well this is santa maria going after this dwarf stuff ra's been under the cosh constant Constant pressure from the northeastern team. There's that stalwart song. Gonna take down this flag. There we go. Now, yeah, they need to let Ra take it back so these buildings start working again. They're gonna instantly upgrade it, I assume, if they have the resources. There we go. Just trying to keep them busy here, Santa Maria. For another wave of dark elves and elves. Tarantulas. Harvesters waiting for some essence. Oh, we have a Plague Beetle. Not the toughest thing like much of the Dark Elf roster. It's kind of a glass cannon. And down it goes. Explodes into bits. Oh, does it poison stuff underneath it? Or is that the same one? And it was some kind of ability it has. Now we need to investigate. Where's Matasaburo? There you are. Let me select the Plague Beetle, please. No, I don't think they have an ability. I think that was the Plague Beetle dying. And then, like, We're leave a puddle of crap behind. Everyone's being attacked all of the time. Absolute mayhem. Decent army together now, the Southwest team, thanks to Pump. They really started pumping units out, didn't they? Once they got Arbalists available. 
is the little army of axe wielders. We've also got some sentries, and those guys can they get an upgrade which allows them to kind of brace themselves in the ground, giving them more range. And I think a, maybe a faster fire rate or something. There's a big group of hunters too. It's a big fight here. There's that hailstorm, trying to create some space. Hunters should be able to burst down guardians really fast. Got three plague beetles up. Massive fight here. There's an AoE attack from the Warrior of the Depths, and you see the stalwart song. It must work on allies, surely. I don't think I've seen an ally with it yet. What made all that stuff bleed? Was that the the blood rain or whatever it's called? Blood shower that the Reaper has. Oh, hey, we got some Orc Brutes. 90 damage. They do some siege as well, which is really cool. 1,500 hit points. Really solid unit. But they are four iron each, much like the Hunters. Oh, the Basilisk didn't last very long, did it? Bad time to get a Basilisk out. That's a good raid from the Southwest team. Looks like Ra and Farlon want to keep it going. The Oculus barely makes it out. No, they do not. They go down. Poor Oculus with his health sacrificing ways. Tends to go down quite a lot. I see another wave of units from Pump coming in. Look at this. Going after Santa Maria stuff now. Creating a distraction over here. Can they get the Border Fortress down? Surely they can. Yes, down it goes. Fully upgraded Border Fortress there for Matasabura. The Dark Elves can fully upgrade their sector buildings in Tier 2. We do have a Basilisk up. We have some Catapults too from Santa Maria. What is this? Oh, it's a Medic. Cool. He stands around healing stuff, but he's very weak. Only 600 hit points can be burst down very quick. Oculist is still bringing the fight with a group of hunters. Maybe should have positioned them back here so they weren't quite so vulnerable to that flank. There's that corruption debuff. I want to see what else this Reaper has here. In fact, let's go through all the heroes. Any more skills? No. Building no complete. more actives for Ra. Pump now has the Earth Shatter. That's the bottom level skill here, or the top level skill, I guess, right at the bottom of the skill tree. We're Santa Maria. Attacked. Nothing else up. They've gone all passive since then, I suppose. Yeah, they've gone for some arcane force. Matasaburo does indeed have the blood shower. It messes up buildings quite bad. It also makes living things bleed. He's easy. Oh, now has the true shot. Single target damage. And Farlon with even more stuff. Blood like tar. Apply bleeding and impaired to nearby units. Uh, it reserves his health as you see there. That means it that takes permanently takes health away if this is active. Oh! It's a bunch of dwarfs now, eh? It's a hell of a lot of them. How much damage do these guys have? 90. Weakness to strike. We've got to utilize their range, I suppose. Kicking off over here, is it? Elves sticking together. We now have a bunch of Wanderers. 50 damage doesn't sound that impressive, especially since these guys, I think they're three iron now, or maybe it's two, but their arrows actually bounce between targets. There's that stalwart song. Look how many he caught in that there. That was really good. We have a phalanx uh, protector up, sorry. Phalanx is the name of their passive, providing some resistance buff to nearby units. We want to try and get a bunch of them and spread them out a bit. We've got a couple of basilisks now. Big AoE damage, but they are relatively weak. No resistances and 1,500 hit points. And they do see it's a lot of damage, but re remember that siege damage. And most, most uh, small units like this have 75% resistance to it. Man-sized units kind of thing. But it's still 400, so 100 of it's going to get through if you have 75 resistance. What's this? Oh. Farlon and Zizi having a, having a scrap on the border here. There's that protector. Look how many goblins the protector is holding off there alongside those guardians. Oh, there's a warden in there too. 
got a pretty diverse army here from ZZ. They've got a little bit of everything. Warden's massive damage output, but only 800 hit points. And I think they're three iron now. I believe they, they were... The elf tier two was nerfed a little bit. Let's see if we can find out. ZZ, where are your groves? Here you are. Yep, they're three iron and wanderers are indeed two. Six iron for the protectors. They're tough bastards though. What is this? It is... Oh man, keepers. Got some keepers up from pump. We're awesome. Being attacked. 1750 hit points, 100 damage and some good resist resistances. They're not... Yeah, they're not that fast though, are they? They're that, not that much faster than, than infantry. But uh, they can be a very good front line for you. We're Support being them attacked. with the champions alongside to do the damage. Especially when you, when you get that AoE attack champion upgrade thing. At 20 minutes, pretty much all the players are probably tier 3 by now. Probably. Depends how much their iron's been messed with. I assume there was iron between the bases as well. I'm not entirely sure though. Not easy. I don't have a great way to check this stuff. I'm going to bring up the map. But then it will cover the screen. Tried to look for resources there. We've got a bunch of catapults up here for Santa Maria. We have the dwarves and the humans going really hard against the orange player here. We need some backup. We need some backup. But it looks like Matasabura is busy fighting mid. They could do a lot of damage here. They are taking chunks though from the catapults. Needs to be careful not to overextend. Look what's, look what's happening. Keepers are getting caught. Big chunks of damage and now a hailstorm. I think they should pull out here. Where is the wolf guard commander? Is she in here? I'm not actually sure. Warrior of the Depths is in here. Just popped another stalwart song. Still didn't see it affect an ally. Maybe it just can't. Oh, here comes Matasabura to save the day. Four basilisks now. At least. Oh, five in there actually. Hey, we have a combat balloon. 200 damage. It's a lot. I'm not sure how often they shoot though, does it tell me? It does. That once every four seconds over there. Some catapults now for pump. What's going on in the mid? Some action over here. This is Ra pushing against the Dark Elves. There is a Basilisk. They might get a bunch of sleepers up so they can protect the back lines a bit better. Sleepers aren't that defensive though. Did a little bit of damage. And backed off. Here comes the rest of Matasaburo stuff. Oh, they have some sleepers. These guys look awesome, don't they? 12, 50 hit points is not bad for a Dark Elf unit. Good damage output too. You've got these floating sores that they thrust into you when you get too close. So, where are we looking on the mid? Looks like they have three sectors each. We see some echoes going back to Matasabura's spire. Can we follow it and find it? Wow, it's far. It's far. There it is. And they will slowly go from unclaimed echoes into echoes. Kicking off in the mid, I think. My PC is going to struggle with all this action. Holding up okay so far. Basilisks starting to, be, to seem really powerful now. When you have a critical mass like this and you're able to create a little bit of space. Oh, here comes Pump with the Templars. Sorry, the Templars. The Keepers. I always call them Templars for some reason. Can they break through though onto the Basilisks? That is so painful. Oh, that's a Berserker in there. Tier 3 Dwarf Infantry, very powerful. It's actually the only, I believe that's the only Dwarf unit that takes iron. You'd expect, you think of Dwarfs, you think of, you know, tons of metal and iron and stuff, but no. That's the only unit that takes iron. All the rest take charcoal or uh, that moon silver stuff. But I think that's only uh, Pyromancers. I think. Yeah, these basilisks are looking nasty. Dwarves use tons of stone for their buildings. All of their buildings use lots of stone. 
They're very reliant on it. Typically they'll start off with three stone cutters, maybe even four stone cutters. Holding off two players here basically, Matasaburo. Don't really have an answer yet to those basilisks. That's so many. How many do they have? Can this be stopped? Yeah. Let's see. 14 basilisks, 12 infiltrators. Don't see any. All the sleepers have gone down, I guess. Farlon with. Oh, he's got some war trolls and some shamans. Are they fighting here? Got a bunch of brutes as well. Where are the war trolls? There's one. These guys are awesome. 2,000 hit points, big chunk of damage, and they do strike as well. Strike and siege. Not sure how you meant to use the shamans. Their stat line doesn't seem too impressive. But I think you meant to... Maybe they do AoE damage. Here they are. Oh, 104 is not bad. Fair enough. I thought it was like 70 or 80. But you can also, if you can oil stuff, they can explode the oil and do a big explosion. You can do that with Pesterers, and I think you can do it with the the Orc Totem, but you rarely see Totems played. Costs a lot of resources to use that stuff. Basilisks are still going. Bunch of Harvesters here too to distract and befuddle me. And the opponents, I guess. Orcs backing away, that was not a good fight to take at that time. Dwarves are being pushed. Here come. Some balloons. Can they even make a dent on this though? They need to triple this Dark Elf army here. Basilisks are kicking off. They are kicking one or two off here and there. But that's so strong. Down goes the warrior of the depth to the blanket of blood. Starting to overrun the mid are the Dark Elves. And they push through onto this sector. Once they have this sector, is there a way back? There's a lot of stuff here. They get into it. Look at the damage the Basilisks do to this stuff. It's such short work of it. Reaper's in there, of course, with his endless army of undead. Okay, they've got some Berserkers in there now. Right. I see a couple at the front. Man, they're not lasting long, though, are they? Holy crap, they're getting messed up. I thought they have like... I thought they had like 2,000 hit points, but I guess not. Well, next time I see one, I'll have to check. Maybe they only have 1,500, but they seem to die super fast to that stuff. I mean, there's a lot of it. No single unit is going to stand up to that. For Oh, Emissary of Nor. Cool. You can set these guys to summon undead mode, where they'll just summon a bunch of undead constantly from corpses, otherwise they're a decent combat unit with like 100 damage I think. Oh, 150! Man! Relatively weak resistances, 1500 hit points, they do fly as well, as you can see there. Very cool looking units. Oh, a Strider! 1400 hit points, massive amounts of damage. They do chuck the spears, but they're relatively short range, as you see here. I want to see those guys summon an army of undead, but he might just use them as offensive units. I guess the, the uh, point would be use them as combat units and then after the fight maybe you switch them to summon undead stuff. Perhaps. Here's the army of keepers from pump. Can they get in on the basilisks? They are blocked by a wall of sleepers here and infiltrators of course. That Strider getting shots in. Got some Griffins now for Pump. Are they Griffins or Griffins? Griffin. They're a melee unit, I believe. Only one iron for a Griffin. 75 damage. What's this? It's... Oh, a Ballista. I don't get to see these very often. 300 siege damage. It's not bad. Looks like it's relatively quick, maybe. Compared to the catapult in a way, but basilisks are pretty damn quick too. There's that stalwart song. Oh, someone took out the golem here. I didn't even get to see it. Are these guys stuck? Looked like they were trying to move, but they couldn't. But um, is this a good fight for Ra? 
There's more basilisks behind. Yeah, it's not a good fight to take, I guess. Tarantulas acting as a screen to those basilisks. Maybe the wolf guard commander could like teleport in amongst them and take one out. Because they are expensive, basilisks. I think they're, yeah, they're 15 echoes each, which is a lot. It's got a lot of them. And I mean, in a 3v3, you're going to get so many echoes from, from the bodies. Keepers and griffins going after uh, Santa Maria's humans here. Oh, do keepers have a chance to knock you over and stun you? That's cool. I know that the war trolls do something similar. I guess they've got they've got this pretty badass maces, eh? Took down the royal mage. Yeah, they got him. Did get him. Oh look, we have some mentalists in here. They go do little AOE magic attacks. I'm not sure how effective they are against keepers. But that guy got fallen over, didn't he? Is that a catapult? It is a catapult. Kicking off down in the southeast. Got some war trolls being killed. Matasaburo able to hit everywhere with impunity pretty much. His army of basilisks is kicking ass. War troll being chased. They do have good resistances and 2,000 hit points, but they're big old fellas. Easy to pick out and target. Strider at the front. Oh, hey, one of these twisted ones. 100 damage and they impair and oh if they're impaired they will weaken if they're bleeding they will weaken and they reduce your focus as well that's nasty dark elves a lot of their players about putting debuffs on stuff and exploiting it that's what the twisted ones do for you they can bleed with the um, blood rain oh wow we got a Flesh Colossus from Farlon. Holy crap. A, a Titan. But it's not going to last long, unfortunately. Did not think we'd ever see one. But I guess a 3v3 is a place you could see one, eh? That was a lot of resources on that guy. And that's maybe why Farlon didn't have much of an army going for a little while. Just like 70... I think it's 75 iron to get that thing. 75 iron, 75 ash... And 75 food, maybe? That's a lot. That's a lot. And it just got burst down. Need an army around that thing. Matasaburo looking very strong. Can they wipe out Farlon completely? More stuff is joining this fight. Meanwhile, the Keepers and the Arbalists of Pump are trying to push through the Northwest. This is Ra now trying to support. Trying to support Farlon against the Dark Elves. Dwarves and orcs working together. Isn't it lovely to see? Still got some goblins running around. Hard for me to keep track. I wish it told you what upgrades the units had in their unit card here. There's lots of space for it. You have to like go and hunt down the upgrade building and try and work out what's not there anymore. Arriving here from Farlon. Lots of damage output but only 800 hit points. Decent resistances though. Can the Basilisk hit flying units? I'm not sure, actually. Yes, they can. It just hit the hell out of that combat balloon. Still kicking off in the northwest. The elves coming up here to defend now. Wanderers and wardens. Wolf Guard Commander goes down. Those protectors are really cool. Really cool. Took down the keeper there. Starting to look very painful for that southwest team of red, white, and green. In fact, Farlon is gone. It's now 3v2, is it? No, it's not. It's 2v2. Santa Maria's gone. I was looking right at this area. Not really realizing there should be a bunch of orange buildings here. So well done, Pump. Got it done with their catapult and stuff. Now it's 2v2, but these Dark Elves are so strong. Look at these Emissaries of Nor now. Bunch of striders, so many basilisks. Pretty nuts. I think they've got this game. I don't think Ra can recover quite quickly enough. They're missing resources on that granite hall there. Suggesting their economy's kind of tanked a little bit. They're trying to get stuff out, and they can't. 
Warrior of the Depths. What level did you get to, buddy? You got level 5. Let's have a look at these other heroes. Level attacked. 8, Wolfguard Commander did really well. Had a beacon of immortality at the end. We've got uh, our Santa Marines down. Level 10, Dark Elf. That is maximum level. That's the Reaper. Level 8, Ranger. Far on down. And I thought they started off so well, the Southwest team. They seemed to take out a bunch of those Wyverns. But I guess maybe the other team were also taking out Wyverns. I just didn't see it. Yeah, Matasagora is going to sweep through the Dwarves here. Pump still fighting valiantly in the Northwest. But this... Look at that damage on the Citadel. And that's... Uh, Ra down. Just need to take out that central building of the capital province, so now they're going for this citadel here. Echo still being granted. I wonder how many Echoes they've got across this game. Maybe Dark Hells are just really strong in, in team games because of the amount of death that happens. So a little Twisted one. I think they have pretty decent range too, Twisted ones. Striders are really cool. gonna take long. Once the Basilisks arrive, it's not gonna take long. Still have the undead up from the Reaper here. Look at that. So fast. And there's your game. Oh no it's not. I need to get this one. Damas. It's right there. Oh we got some champions up. And they do have their pikes which is their area of effect weapon. I mean I think it I still think it's very much over we get to look at these awesome Dark Elves. Oh no, there it is. Looks like they conceded at the end. Nothing they could do. Does it let me look at the players that are like still alive? And see what they had? It does. Look at it. It's a freaking army here. Ten Basilisks at the end. Ten Striders. And nine Harvesters, meaning they had nine... Spire of Souls, I guess. It doesn't take anything to work it, so why not? Let's get loads of those things. Awesome stuff. Very frantic oh, and hectic 3v3. I'm sure I missed tons of it. But I hope you enjoyed it. I thought it was a of fun. Look into getting some more team games. Maybe there is no way to search for 3v3 or 2v2 games, I don't think. So these are basically exhibition matches, I guess, put together by the more experienced players. These guys are still mining. Fair enough. Matasaburo, MVP. But uh, ZZ and Pump were also very damn strong. Ra tried to hold the center. And I can't believe Farlon got the Titan up. That was really cool to see. Where is the shrine, actually? Must be a really safe shrine for them to go for it. I don't know where it is. I can't see it on them. Oh, it's down here. There it is. There it is. Well, uh, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.